welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are in my kitchen. You can probably hear my oven in the background because we are gonna be cooking. If you guys are new around here, my name is Becca. I'm a registered dietitian. I share lots of videos here on my channel centered, centered around nutrition, health, wellness, non-toxic living. I love to share what I'm eating um, and I hope you guys will subscribe if any of that interests you. So I am gonna be showing you guys how I make my very easy, healthy eggplant Parmesan. I shared in my latest What I Eat a Day video, the one where Matt did the voiceover, I shared with you guys that this is what we were having for dinner that night, and so many of you wanted to see how I actually make it. It is very easy. I kind of call it my like lazy eggplant parm. This recipe, simplified recipe, was born out of pure laziness, to be honest, but it is so good, and it is perfect for a weeknight because it just cuts out a few steps. So first, this eggplant parm is not breaded. There's no breading on this eggplant parm whatsoever. Now, I guess in some ways this could make it a healthier version. I'm not necessarily against breadcrumbs. If you wanna put breadcrumbs on your eggplant parm, you go for it. The only thing I will say though is a lot of store-bought breadcrumbs that you get in like the canisters, go ahead and turn those over, read the ingredients, you guys. They're, it's pretty shocking. It's an entire paragraph laundry list. There are so many ingredients in those store-bought breadcrumbs. You probably will be amazed. It's crazy what's all like the stuff and the additives that are in there. So that's one of the reasons that I, did, I didn't end up breading um, my eggplant parm when I made it. Also, it just cut out a step, so it made it easier. And now again, that's how this recipe was born. The second step that I cut out, you will see on a lot of recipes, they tell you to cut up the eggplant and salt it and let it sit for about an hour because it helps take out some of the bitterness. I have always skipped this step because I am just never that ahead of the game when it comes to cooking dinner. So I just never done it and mine always turns out fine. Maybe some you know chefs out there would frown upon that, but that is just not something that I'm about to do because I like things to be quick and easy as much as possible when it comes to cooking you know, whole foods from scratch for the most part. So I skipped that step and it turns out just fine. Okay, so for the actual recipe, the very first thing you're gonna do is you are going to preheat that oven to 400 degrees. Once your oven is getting all nice and toasty warm, you can move on to actually slicing up the eggplant. I like to slice it into decent size discs, probably like a half an inch thick or so. And once my eggplant is all sliced up, I just grab a glass baking dish um, and I lay out all of the eggplant slices in there. I try and have them not be too covered, but they always end up being a little bit covered. Next, I will just hit them with some avocado oil. That is always my preference when it comes to cooking at high heat. I prefer that over avocado oil. It's just a little bit more, or over olive oil, it's just a little bit more stable. Um, and then I will top it with just some garlic powder and then of course some salt and pepper. Then you can go ahead and throw that eggplant in the oven. We are going to pre-bake it um, before we put any sauce and cheese, anything like that on it. This is what really helps break down that eggplant and just get it to be nice and cooked down um, and tender and not like tough and chewy. So you are going to let that eggplant cook in the oven for about 25 minutes. And once that 25 minutes is up, you can go ahead and remove the eggplant and this is where we get all of the sauce and cheese on. So I just layer on some sauce. Um, this is our favorite sauce that we typically buy. I buy it in bulk at Costco. And then I will just top it with um, whatever cheese we have on hand. Um, I'm actually using mozzarella, not Parmesan, but you know, again, I am not a very strict chef. I just use whatever I have and I actually love it with mozzarella. It's like so ooey and gooey and delicious. And typically mozzarella is often used on these anyway, I guess, now that I'm really thinking about it. Now, this is gonna go back in the oven for about 15 minutes. Now, it's at this point where I like to pop some um, pasta, spaghetti, whatever we have into some boiling water to start cooking it. This is my favorite brand of gluten-free pasta. We eat pretty much exclusively gluten-free pasta in this house. Um, that's just what we prefer. And it's really good. I love the texture of gluten-free pasta. Now, I will say this is a brand um, that we really like, but typically I like to go for the like rotini or they're like smaller noodles. These linguini tend to really stick together. Their spaghetti doesn't, but the linguini does. So 
not my favorite, but it's just what we had, so it's what we used. But if you're gonna get um, anything, I would get like spaghetti or some kind of like noodle from them. And once the pasta is all cooked, I obviously just drain it, and then I love throwing it right back in the pot. And that is where I will mix the sauce in. This way you don't have to heat up the sauce, you just dump it right on. Um, I might even have my pot on like low heat and I just distribute all the sauce, mix it in really well and it's nice and hot. And then it is time for our eggplant to come out of the oven. You will see the cheese is really bubbly and melty and it is just eggplant perfection. It tastes so good. So I usually just serve a little bit of the eggplant arm over my pasta and it's delicious my whole family loves this recipe you would never even miss the breading um, it really is so tasty and satisfying and delicious and also very filling so that is how you make my easy healthy dare I say lazy <laughs> eggplant farm if you guys want a printable recipe I will have that link down below for you I have a blog post with all of these instructions so you can go find that here if you'd like it in the written format but that is all I have for this video Video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I was super excited to share this recipe because it's just one of my favorite easy go-to's and so many of you guys really wanted to see it. So I hope you guys are going to try out this recipe. If you do, let me know. Tag me on Instagram if you do. I'm just at Becca Bristow. I would love to hang out with you on there. And if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would absolutely love for you to join us here. I share all kinds of food, nutrition, just general health and wellness content here on my channel and I would love to have you here. But that's all I have for this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.